Hey, 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 what's up, guys? Welcome back to the stream. It is me, Kunzu. And yes, we are back for today, so for some Genshin Impact. And yes, and of course, today as well, the uh, version um, the version 4.6 special program announcement is going to be happening today. But we still got some time left for um, for us to wait. So we got like, say, say around 52 minutes left for the actual, um, actual uh, program to start. So we got a bit of time to play around with Genshin Impact, but uh, yeah. Yeah, super excited. Arlequino is finally going to be announced. I'm finally going to be seeing her gameplay, how her kit works, and um, yeah, just overall really hyped for the upcoming version. So yeah, I think I think a lot a lot of like the um, community anyways are like going to be really hyped for um, Arlequino. Because it's been it's like the uh, one character has been like really um really uh, many a lot of people like really excited about for like a while now ever since she got um released like even before that as well um uh like that one trailer the, the um with the uh, um what's it called with the uh, harbingers that uh, that was involved like a few years ago yeah that was really excited and many people were like really excited for uh, marlakino so uh, yep, we are finally going to be um getting the um getting the uh, freaking what's it what's her called the knave right yeah the knave yeah the knave Arlequino father whatever whatever heck you gotta call uh, call her so yeah super excited for that so yep I've been saving up for like uh, quite a while now I think I've been saving since the um Farina banner so I do get a bunch but not actually not the Farina banner um yeah the Jianyun banner I think yeah four point three I've been saving since then. Uh, wait, was it? Yeah, no, it's 4.4. .4. Yeah, it's 4.4. I've been saving since then. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm guaranteed, so I will be able to get uh, get her immediately. But I'm going to try my best on get actually getting her weapon, though. Because I really want to um grab her weapon for the aesthetics. Although there is a choice for me of not getting um getting her weapon. Because I already have like a good amount of like uh, pole arms that I could possibly use. But I don't know if... um of them can be really um good for her but uh, we'll see how it goes though but yeah anyways code what's up bro welcome to the stream so uh, yeah yeah i seen your uh freaking messages in the discord bro and oh uh, freaking sad bro that's uh that's really unfortunate but yep that's um that's one mistake that unfortunately you made is actually like the let uh, letting other people like have access to your account like what is with that anyway like why did you that? Why why did you even like decide to like uh, even share your freaking um account in the first place? You know it's always going to be really risky when like someone else has like access to your account, right? Because you know you will never know like um whatever like actions they are going to be doing in your account. So better be careful next time, bro. If you do really don't want do not want to uh do not want to um have that happen again. So yeah really unfortunate okay uh let me use, let me just something real quick uh give me a sec here uh, that's good enough all right so um other than uh arlequino though like in the arlequino banner of course it's pretty much obvious that she's going to be coming out today or like uh, her being um, announced i'm also curious in like what other content we'll be having as well in terms of like um quest though, I'm not sure we'll be able to get the um Dana's Leaf quest um uh, in the next version, version 4.6 as well. Because um with the um Archon quest finished now, I think we're uh, in a due date on actually getting the um getting the um uh, Dane's Leaf quest um any sometime soon. So I'm super excited for that. And um, yeah, not only the Dane's Leaf Quest. I'm not sure if that's going to be um, happening, or like um, or going to be released in the uh, version 4.6 announcement. I'm also going to be. I'm also curious in like what other char characters that we'll also be having in the um, 
in the uh, ba uh, rerun banner as well alongside with Arlecchino. So as you can see in the um, uh, poll there, um, I guessed Farina, Lenny, Wander, and Tartaglia because of course Le I chose Wander and Tartaglia because they have like some kind of connection with um, Arlecchino but um, I mean not really Arlecchino but with the Harbingers. So I'm just like guessing like what we what um what will actually happen. Farina of course, um I don't know I don't know if this is um if this is real or not or not really real, but I don't know if it's going to be happening because um uh, from its pattern usually um Archons usually um getting uh, gets a gets a guaranteed usually not really a guaranteed but uh, based on like the previous versions, right? In like uh, on in times of like its pattern in like uh in like the version 6 of like uh in like a region 3.6 and stuff like that 2.6 3.6 and uh 4.6 uh right now um usually the uh, the arcana uh, usually gets a rerun so that's why i guessed for now but however though that's probably going to be changed because uh, for Farina is technically not an archon now a uh, spoiler alert by the way who have not uh, who have not uh, done the story but yeah uh, that might be changed. So there's going to be a possibility that Farina is not going to be um, uh, not going to be in the rerun. But um, but we'll see. And of course, Lini, uh, Lini there as well. It only makes sense, right? Because um, because uh, Lini's uh, also part of like um, has like a really deep relationship with uh, Arlecchino. So it only makes sense that Lini is also going to be involved in the banner as well. Um, okay, other than that, though, I'm also curious in, like, what kind of friggin' content we'll be able to get. I mean, uh, we might expect, like, a new artifact set, a new area, um, uh, of course, event mini games is always going to be happening each version, so that's pretty much obvious. But, um, yeah, of course, I'm also really excited for the, um, for the Arlequino story quest as well, because, um, uh, knowing that she will be, um, she will be appearing in the um in the next version it's all pretty much guaranteed that she will be able to get a uh, story quest as well so really excited for that so i really hope that we actually uh, get to know more about her because uh, there's still like a lot of things that we don't know about her like granted we uh she actually helped us during like um during like the crisis during the um during the previous quests so um yeah and like uh we do not know what her um true intentions are and stuff like that right we don't know if she's actually like um going to be um going to actually like um uh, turn on against us is she going to be um uh, continuing helping us we don't know yet we do not know what her true intentions is um but yeah we'll probably see it during her um during her um story quest so yeah um da -da -da, what else um other than that though not much else for me to say in the upcoming version or like to predict i mean but that's just like my um personal predictions like uh content um but yeah but uh all we can do now is just wait and just um and just see what will um actually eventually be announced in the um special program announcement so we got a bit of time left so we're just going to be playing a bit of a genshin impact for today so, uh, in terms of Genshin Impact, oh god, um, there's a black bar up there. Give me a sec, that's my freaking chat, actually. Um, one sec. Is it working? No, no, it's not working. Okay, there it is. Okay. <laughs> so um yeah god damn it's i feel like it's been a while since i've uh since i streamed genshin i think it was like what two weeks ago i stopped uh, streaming genshin because i was really busy with um with uh monster hunter yep there is this event right here um i have not done it yet so i might as well do it today see what it um actually gives us and uh yep spiral abyss is available as well but i'm not sure if i'm going to be doing the spiral abyss today in this stream um i already done my dailies 
So I think I'm just going to jump straight into the um, event, see what it freaking is. It's of course cats are going to be involved. <laughs> I'm not not really a huge cat person, but um, I do like cats. Freaking adorable little fur boss that does not give a damn about you at all. They always act like the freaking boss, huh? And of course, I've seen the way too many freaking cat videos in the um, internet. You know, like why uh, cats are like um, really well loved. I'm more of a dog person, though. I wish in the future we were um, able to get like um, uh, a, an event quest that involves um, that involves more for dogs. But um, I think we actually did like uh, manage to get a quest that involves dogs before. I think was that the um, I think there was a event quest way back in Inazuma. I think there's this one uh, dog event. I'm not sure if it's really. I mean, it involves dogs, but it does. But its uh, main focus doesn't really like. Um, it's not like its main focus of that. And uh, of course, I forgot my um, desktop audio. Oops. There you go. Yeah. Hopefully, in the future, we will be able to get more. Um, more special um, events for dogs specifically. All right. Let's get into the um, event. Of course, Rosario is over there. Enter. Here, play with some cats. Nah, she's probably here for play with cards. Yeah, she's probably there for cards. Biggest problem though. Cats have been so anxious. Got them to trust us. Uh oh. Sick from all anxiety, huh? Terrible fortress. Okay. I don't know what kind of freaking uh, mini game event this is. Of course, here we are about to step in trying to help things out, right? It's well expected. Savior. Right, give me a sec, actually. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna check something with my um, phone. I'm just gonna autoplay this. Oh, abandoned cats, right. そこで教会のシスターたちに相談したところ、私をサポートするために優しいロサリアさんを派遣してくださいました。別に優しいからじゃなくて、ビクトリアに頼まれたからよ。医学をかじったことがある暇なシスターは私しかいなかったってだけ
Oh, uh, from time to time as well, right? I also um, hear um, hear dogs barking and cats meowing like um, like in the middle of the night, and it is pretty annoying. And um, and we were uh, thinking of like actually like uh, trying to um, get rid of them in our background backyard, trying to like move them to like a much more um. Much more suitable place, but it's going to be pretty tough because um, they already like uh, marked their their set in their um, territory in like uh, our yard, so um, it's going to be di to be uh, difficult to like move them. Yep. I I don't know how um how that freaking um drunkard is going to be um dealing with cats. Hmm. Yeah. And one, one good thing about cats, right, is that um, they are really pretty um, low maintenance when it comes to um, taking care of them. Compared to dogs, right, my god, they are really high maintenance. And they're pretty, uh, they're pretty expensive to um, take care of as well, right, compared to cats. Uh, for one, they eat more depending on like the breed, right? Like smaller dog breeds usually tend to eat less, of course, because they are smaller um, in size. Uh, with cats, though, of course, they're like most of the time are like pretty small. In terms of uh, yeah, in terms of here, um, I think both dogs and cats like always like shed a lot. But again, that also depends on the breed, right? Our like our our toy poodle um, doesn't really like shed at all. Because its hair is like more like akin to like a human hair because it just continually grows instead of like just falling off. Our Labrador, uh, though, my god, he freaking sheds a lot. That's why we can't let him inside of like the house at all because he always like leaves around so much hair. And that's really annoying to clean. For both arches. Alright, whatever. Wait, what where is it? Wait, is it really back here? I thought it's in this freaking cat's tail. Okay. Oh hey. Oh. It's um It's just a regular house, yep. Yeah. It's just, it's literally just a regular house with like a bunch of like, uh, things for like cats, I guess. this cheap. Few million Mara, huh? That's still pretty expensive. Sheltering street dogs. Okay. You're literally just going to make a freaking um uh, a zoo at that point, right? In this case, I just uh basically an aura uh, orphanage for like um um. For like abandoned animals or stray animals, basically, bro. Uh, sure, whatever you want, you whatever you want, you want. Like I remember back in the day, like uh, we had like so many animals in our um, in our home. Like we used to own uh, guinea pigs, uh, a ham. We I also own a hamster. I think a rabbit as well. We did own that. Um, uh, I think we also had a parakeet before. But it's, but it's been a while now, though. Oh, hey, look, a cat. Oh, 
Give her a bath, of course. Like, not all cats are, like, really, um... Really, um, interested in taking a bath, you know. In this case, um... I think the reason why is, uh, is because of their fur, right? Because, um, cats are really, like, um... Really, like, um, sensitive when it comes to, like, uh, taking care of their fur and stuff like that. And, um... Messing it up, like, um... Uh, or like having like having it wet can be pretty uh this can be a really a uh, huge hassle for the cat so so not all cats are like really um into the water but there's also like a bunch of cats that do snowball but tofu and pudding pudding right who well, who are we freaking um Freaking Harley Quinn now. Pudding? Really? Tofu, uh, I think pudding. I'll go with pudding. A <laughs> snowball. Okay. She actually came. Now she, now oh, she's changed. Well, I can definitely someone being afraid of Rosaria. That face um, alone is like um can really terrify some people. Sorry. That's pretty rare. Rosaria actually smiling, huh? I really do not know what kind of um freaking mini game we're going to getting with that involves cats. We're not we're not a freaking cat whisperer. Wait a minute. I have the feeling that um, her voice uh, really reminds me a bit of Furina. I don't know, are, uh, is Furina's V also like voicing Valerina here? I somewhat feel like it. Like her Japanese VA is to be specific, I don't know about her English VA though. Yeah, I can definitely hear um Purina talking. For some reason. I was sick by requirement to continue your and setting up your fluffy feeling. Oh, there is there are three attributes to spend. Confidence, durability, aesthetics here are required. Like one suitable furniture for each type. With the overall area of each attribute. Um Icon furnishings primary attribute. Uh, blah 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 whatever. Okay. Alright, how's this going to um Wait what? Can I use current state? Okay, so how should I do this? Um... 
Oh, okay. That was weird. I don't know how it was not um, working for some reason earlier. Too much comfiness. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think that's perfect. Um, fish. That's love fish, um, I mean, probably. Um, okay, I don't need a lot of comfiness, but I do need more aesthetics. Durability. There you go. We're just literally just um, trying to design these for, um, for the cats, huh? Um, a lot of comfiness, okay. Um... <clears throat> Alright, that will do. Alright, you can have chicken. Is that it? Okay. Is that literally the uh, this quest? Oh, you need to play uh, play with her as well. All right, how should we do this? Can sound like a cat from the throat. No, 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 meower, huh? Okay. Russia chair is inseparable. Eight points. You get left ear. That. Right where the cat likes it for the best increase. Same even if or I mean the same okay. Weirdly increases, uh okay, whatever. Alright. So how am I supposed to do this? At that Um I feel like I'm playing like some kind of game in the freaking DS. Oops. Okay, so um, ears are a no-go. Chest. Pause. You know at this point, right? Like, uh, for, probably like after this, I actually like eager to actually owe the cat after this. I don't know though. As I said, I'm more I'm, a, I'm more of a freaking dog person than a cat person. I'm just going to um, we share a friendship level with the cat. Gotta keep petting until um inseparable. I think the tail is a no go, right? What happens if I pet the tail? Yep, of course. Cats do not like the do not like getting um touched in the tail at all. I'm just going to spam. That's zero now. Okay. Okay, so literally the ears are a no-go at all. Okay, pets are also like, um... Headbutts are earlier ran out. Um, you just need a few more. Come on, where's the freaking spot at? There you go. I'm just going to leave.
Okay, so I'm not sure if we would be able to get more um, cash during this. Okay. My favor. We're just gonna keep playing with them until we get like um. Oh hey, wait, is that Mona? Okay. Hey, Rosaria. Give this job. Play with cash this must. Do you find this boring? Hmm. All right, boring and <laughs> boring and interesting are relative. Okay. A little different from staying at the church. I. There are some differences. Some of these cats are very clever. They understand just just fine. So there's no voice in here, so I'm just going to um, run through all of that. But Mona's here, though. Hello, Mona. Meow. Ah. Oh, there's no voice acting. Oh, come on. At least they could have added voice acting. That would be um, that could have been pretty much um, be a much better um scene here. Professor Mona McGee, that's not how you pronounce it. Do I really get like her? <laughs> Alright, let's answer this. That's a good way to write a kid to a security cat. Just imagine, right? I mean, a lion or a tiger is technically a freaking cat. So we're not technically wrong there, trying to say it rar. Yeah, we got yeah we got about twenty minutes left before the um actual live stream starts, so we got a bit of time. Okay, so at this point, right, I think majority of this um of this um event quest is just us trying to like play with cats and stuff like that, and um. And it seems like uh, some characters are also um also appearing in this quest as well, but they don't really have any um any voice dialogue so far. If they don't have really if they don't really have um voice dialogues, then I'm probably just going to do this off stream. Okay. Who else is also out here? Let's exit. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get like more um more named characters in um in here soon though. So I think I'm just going to play uh play around with this event quest a bit more until we get like more um named characters in here. Um, okay, there's no, wait, did we get like a quest during that? Oh crap, I also need to do this as well. Freaking Chen Yu Veil, um, uh, world quest. I'm just way too lazy to do these, um, event quests nowadays, bro. It's just a hassle. But at this point, I'm about, probably just going to do those eventually. Because um, I think there is a part of Chen Yu Veil that is actually like locked out. Like I think, uh, yeah, this one right here. Like this area is like locked out. There's no like um, no statue of Severn or anything. So I'm guessing this is like part of the quest. And um, and it's like it's uh similar to how the R and R quest went as well because there used to be like a locked area during like um, during some parts of Sumeru. so you have to do the R and R quest to unlock them. So it's also probably like the um, same thing during that as well, right? So I'm probably going to be doing uh, probably yeah, I'm probably going to be doing the um, doing the uh, Genio Veil um, World Quest soon, right? You. Chest. Oh, 
Okay, so she does not like uh, touching the hands. Or touching the paws, I mean. She like the ears? Okay, she does like the ears. Yep. Of course, no cats does not like to um, get pet in the tail at all. Okay, do I actually need to um, get it to inseparable? Because I always feel like I need to like um, perfect everything. Neck. Okay, that works. Wait. Oh yeah, Amber as well. Okay, so every time you um complete one of the uh, mini games, a new named character appears. Okay. Oh wait, I'm not using my um overworld team. Let's switch to them real quick. Oh, that's still pretty laggy, huh? Give him that throw this time. Hey Amber. Uh no dialogues. Wait, I can't name Bunny. Okay, that does not make sense. Well, it's just a name in the end, I guess. You know something, right? We have not gotten like a uh, Bunny character here in this game at all. I mean, there's Cat Girls, right? Cat Girls exist, Dog Boys exist, Fox Girls also exists. But we have not gotten a um, Cat Girl. As uh, I mean, oh, no, of course we already 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 got a Cat Girl. I mean, Bunny Girl, right? Uh, Lenka Kocha... Kochanova? What's up? Welcome to the stream. Hello to you too. Yeah, right now I'm just doing the event because we have a bit of time before the um, actual um, live stream starts. So I'm just doing the event real quick here. Yeah, imagine, right? We have not seen like a bunny girl at all in this, um, in this, um, entirety of like Genshin Impact so far. I don't even know if, um, uh, rabbits or bunnies even exist. In this game. the weather and whether or not it will rain hmm. yeah who knows though maybe in um maybe in natlan we might be able to get um, get bunny girls finally <laughs> like uh the, uh like uh just Put out your like stereotypical like um fantasy um fantasy creatures I guess like elves, beast men stuff like that. Almost all of them are like present in Genshin. So if we have yet to see like a bunny girl. Her tail and lying on the ground, snuggling against my hand. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we're just going to keep playing, I guess. Dust ball. Yeah, just like just doing this is like really adorable. Oh, does not like the ears. Yeah, cats really are adorable, huh? But again, I am a dog, more of a dog person. Okay, does does not like the body at all. Also, does not like the f the feet. Tail though. Okay, the first cat we have seen that actually met the tail. Hey, catty, what's up? Welcome to the stream. No, I'm late. Oh, not really. The uh, stream has not uh, has not begun yet, so we have like 13 minutes left. Right now, I am just doing the event. Oh, 
Oh, right. He does not like the body, right? Never mind. Is he interested in the... Yeah, he's interested in the left tail... Uh, in the la left paw. But not the right paw. That's weird. He does not like the, um... Does not like the ears, right? Chest? He really loves his uh, getting pet in the tail, huh? Almost no cats actually really want to uh, really want to like uh, get touched in the tail. I think most animals are. They do not like to um, get touched by the uh, tail at all. Alright, where is it? Oh yeah, neck. There you go. Is there like a new character? Razor? Interesting seeing Razor here. Our freaking wolf boy. It's you, me. I'm talking, huh? Talking Razor, are you? I meant to say that's right. Familiar scent. Okay, this is weird. Seeing Razor here of all people. Okay, um, why is Razor, like, really, um, talking about the scent, huh? I, I get that he's, like, um, he's, like, uh, he, um, he's taking care by wolves, but, um, still pretty weird of, like, um, actually, like, smelling our body. That's weird. Really. Sus. Really sus indeed, bro. Wait, what am I thinking? God damn it, bro. That's my freaking degenerate mind every time. Alright, we got ten minutes left. So maybe after this, I'm just going to go ahead and um, stop playing because I think we're about to start now. Okay, so I do have the um, I do have the um, Genshin Impact official Twitch channel up, so I'm, I'm keeping an uh, keeping a uh, close eye on that. Yeah, right. Rewards. So we have um so yeah we only have a few more okay so i'll probably do that um actually wait let me check the um let me check the website oh it's live actually actually okay let me um refresh Okay, we'll begin in around, um, yeah, 8 minutes. So we have a little bit more time, I guess. Is there like an extra room here somewhere? Oh yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, there is. Let's just, uh, let's just finish these up real quick. Cats can actually eat raw meat, huh? There's another room here. You so dopey. Okay. Hmm. So we actually can um complete all of these immediately. And there's like one more cat that we um yet to encounter. Alright, I'll finish this um probably off stream. Or maybe after the um maybe after the um the live stream though I might as well like uh, finish it off. Okay, so 
think we're just um i think we're good to um just um transfer to the twitch channel right i got we got um seven minutes to go okay all right there you go um all right wait a minute um oh my god it's really laggy all right there you go <clears throat> We got six minutes thirty seconds left. I'm gonna get a wish for Arlequino, by the way. Can you just call me Lenka? Okay. Yeah, I am going to be wishing for um Arlequino. I've saved up um I saved up around like two hundred and um two hundred and sixty plus wishes total. Because right now I have forty intertwined fates. Um I have thirty K or thirty one K plus um yeah, somewhere around 31, uh, 31k uh, Primo Gems right now. So I'm, so yeah, I am guaranteed because I lost a 50-50 on the Janion banner um, last time. So I've been saving since then, since the uh, Janion banner, and um, now I'm up, uh, now I'm pretty much guaranteed. But I am also gonna try and um, getting her weapon as well. So yeah, super excited for that, for her to be released. <sighs> okay. Wait, do I have water? Yeah, I do. Wait, maybe I should um, I'm just going to turn off Bob Genshin real quick because I think the sound is going to be probably interrupting it. Give me a sec here. I'm gonna turn off the volume for now. All right, super excited. So let's see what freaking content we're going go, we'll be um going to get. Of course, story quest is going to be uh, guaranteed when um a new character comes out. Um, but I am curious of if we am um, actually about to get like um a day's sleep story quest um soon, or to in the next or in this uh in this version actually. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get uh get the the day's sleep quest in this version. Or maybe in the next version, who knows? Not 4.6, but maybe 4.7. I don't know though. Because I think it's like a I think somewhere like in um somewhere around this version is like a good time to actually like release the Dines Leaf Dines Leaf quest. School, you only have 60 wishes. Good luck. Are you in 50-50? If you are in 50-50, then hopefully you actually win your 50-50, buddy. Yep, I am guaranteed though. And I'm also planning on um, probably doing viewer polls as well in my stream. I already asked Katusha, so just let me know if you're a uh, caddy. If, uh, just let me know if you want me to, if you really want me to like pull it on your account, right? I mean, you are obviously going to be guaranteed for Arlequino, but if you really want to uh, pull on the weapon banner, then I'm always open. And I'm um, always open for like a new game. For you giving me your account and like actually like uh, pulling it on my stream. So I'm always open for it. You only have one West. Oh no. Also, what's uh, what's up, Avera? Welcome to the stream. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Arlequino is like a character that has been really hyped up for like uh, quite some time now, ever since uh, Fontaine released, and even sometime before that uh, as well. Like Arlequino is already like a fairly popular character even before Fontaine. You have sixty pity and not guaranteed. Oof. Okay, so uh, yeah, you are sixty wishes, right? So you're so you're pretty much near at soft pity. If you think about it, you should have like uh yeah you don't yeah you will not have enough to get like uh get pretty much the guaranteed after the fifty fifty loss, but you should have enough time to um to save up more uh, primo gems after um, uh, even after you lose a fifty fifty, you still you should be able to get um or you should be able to have um quite a bit of uh, leftover primo gems left. You have fifty four fifty, but not guaranteed oof. Yep. That's that's why you really have to be careful and like um on what banner uh, banner character you always have to uh, be pulling. That's why I'm always like super choosy when it comes to um the characters that I want to pull. You're saving for Furina. Oh nice. Yeah, I'm not sure if Furina is going to be um featured in one of the banners as well, in the rerun banners. 
because uh technically she's not an archon and uh, knowing by the pattern uh, usually in like version 6 and stuff like that 4.6 3.6 .6, 2.6 and all that stuff archons usually gets a rerun in the uh six of each version you're 40 uh 40 pd and guaranteed you're ready okay well caddy's ready here so let's go oh hey current what's up buddy welcome to the stream howdy to you too a uh, 40 pity iron 15 uh fates guaranteed nice sue also what's up atisha welcome to the stream father one weapon coming home nice sue good luck yeah with that amount of primo gems you should have uh you should have enough to get um uh get the uh, both uh arlequino and um and her weapon unless you get really unlucky though and uh, manage to get to hard pity but I am guaranteed, so hopefully I will be able to get her um, pretty early so I can save up more Primo Gems. Even though I have a bunch of Primo Gems saved up, I'm still pretty risky on um, on uh, pulling on the weapon banner. Yeah, every so many people are hyped for Alakino, of course. Again, she's uh, pretty much like a character that um, that many people have been like waiting for like uh, quite some time now. Alright, we got less than one minute left. Okay. Oof, this is um this is really exciting. Actually wait, uh let me check something real quick. I'm gonna turn on um I'm just gonna turn off my uh, live reactions, I'm sorry. But the live reactions can be pretty annoying, especially on my um stream screen chat. So I had to remove them. Alright, it's about to start now. Woo! I'm excited. Okay. Two, uh, two, okay, so the title, Two Worlds of Flame, The Crimson Night Fades. Mm-hmm. Oh, exciting. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. So I think, I think Shrink, she will be in the uh, 4%. Huh, who knows? It has been millennia since oh, here the fall we go. of Maria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and Oh yeah, also if you um, as much as possible not talk about do not talk about leaks in the chat because I prefer not to talking about leaks at all. Remurians believed their king would bring eternal to the islands of the high sea. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. Okay, I feel like I've seen this um, particular place, or Most I don't know. The God King derive the primordial plan and of course, that's um, I think Arlecchino's voice talking. Winds blowing over sea. All right, let's just listen for now. And composed a splendid. Right, can you guys hear this? Right? Is the volume okay? If it's too loud, then I'm just going to um reduce it. Politics could escape fate's judgment. Maybe I should um lower it a little bit. Paradise, if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. Okay, maybe that's yeah, that's more than enough. Today, let me know if you guys can uh, hear it clearly. Hey, let's go, Arlequino Chibi. Ooh, trailer. Let's go. Let's see what we get. We hold barbecue dinners at the house. Ooh, barbecue! I like me some barbecue. Compete with each other, even cooperate. Oh, they enjoy. There's our girl. There's our father, Arlequino. Father, yes. It's always possible certain familiar faces will be Okay, so this place is real. The next time a Wait, is this a new uh, new um place that we can explore, I'm guessing? Come up. And since it pertains to Wait, Cyrus Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It What's this? Great plan. A uh, story involving um a story involving um Sumer? It's been a while. Of our Lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure right, on me. What's this? He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. But I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nefer, What is this? Absolutely necessary. I will no longer carry out any special missions oh. within the Oh, there she is. Arlequino. Oh, wait. Whoa, is that her gameplay? Oh dang! <laughs> no, she's really fast-paced in the gameplay. I, I really expected that to happen. Like, if she's not like a super high fed. Wait, is that her burst? No way. Well, okay, so it's not just like uh, or the normal orangey fire that we uh, usually see. 
It's like the it's like a more reddish fire. Oh, was that also was that a new character I think I saw earlier? Yeah, her burst is a uh, versus seek. What do you mean seek? I know. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this. What is this? The wisdom of Hermanubis would have Wait, who's that? That's a new name character. To become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers. What the heck? So will only bring us further away from being a real Arlequino fighting um fighting her children? Optimistic picture indeed. Wait, is that oh wait a minute. Is this a weekly boss? She has like a yeah, I'm seeing like she has like some kind of new form. Good things come to children who do Oh, 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 oh this is a weekly boss, right? Sumer side story, I see. Yeah, and weekly boss too. Ooh, looks like I'm going looks like I'm uh, going to be seeing like a new um boss fight guy that I'm probably going to be enjoying soon. Oh, she looks cool here, jeez. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. <sighs> oh dang, she looks sick in the in that boss fight. Now I'm excited. I'm really excited now. <laughs> nice. Can't wait for Arachino versus Arachino, but she might be immune to Pyro. Yeah, she might be immune to Pyro. I mean, who knows though? Or might be, or might be just like super, um, super uh, highly resistant to Pyro. Also, wait, why is Ito involved here? This is really random. Well, out of everyone here, why is Ito being involved? Didn't he already have like a um, rerun? Bro, yeah, uh, imagine an Ito, an Ito rerun an, uh, in another version, like, bro. Okay. Yeah, hi folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes, he is. Yeah. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, hmm. they've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer. God damn it. Tony, voice of Arataki Ito. What up? <laughs> it's me, Max Middleman. Everybody oh god, I freaking love um, freaking love Max Middleman, bro. Such a legendary voice actor for Ito. I'm glad they uh, decided to um have um Max as the VA instead for uh, Ito. Oh, even though I don't know, um, I don't use English VA. I really love his uh, English um voice uh, voice lines. You know they sometimes do curveballs like this. If I remember correctly, they did a version live stream with Albedo, but he wasn't even included in the banners. Oh right. Oh here we go. Alakino. Dire Bale Moon. Operated by the Knave. Uh, Sky of Phoenix Stars. No longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Well, he's, he's Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children the also children take on know, various the hearts of the hearts. Okay. He's their fear and yet dependable father. From the game. Uh, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? It's still pretty mysterious oh for God, me. Like, we do not know what her, like, um, true intentions are. <laughs> he helped us, um, I guess but at the same the time, she is a harbinger. I noticed that Arlequina was we still don't know. At directing the conversation. We might know more about her, though, in our uh, story quest. Kind and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, right? Mom, <laughs> your father, yeah, father, right. Nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from, mm. but... That's just an outsider's point of view, right? What is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest mm. link? Really? Yeah. Of course, Linny is going to be talking <laughs> for this. A very strict father. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Strict. Strict, huh? Um, hmm. That reminds me of like um, our Asian parents. Impression. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, and we know, and we definitely know how intimidating Asian parents can be, you know, guys. Though the kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude, it's probably for their own good. 
In an organization like the Fatui, these kids mm. actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient than other children who are their age, you know? Mm. That's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. Why this are knave? This <laughs> okay, wait, wait. As I said, it's still mystery. Like that because she was traumatized. Ooh, Oof, okay. PTSD. Well, that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep Arlequino's secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. You can get um, spanked by Arlequino. 100% you know. damage over time. <laughs> and five years of your life spent with her claws. Yep. If you're curious about Arlequino's it's past, definitely um, gonna affect your life. Your in the game. That's fair. Her story quest, Ignis of course. Will be story quest, let's go. I'm now, excited for that story quest. I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do oh, hope no. that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced her mm. entire story. <laughs> yeah. Ah, we'll know soon enough. We'll also introduce a new feature. The focus new feature. What's this? Now, if you use the feature while playing our story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or Oh no freak it away. Other quests. Mm. They so finally the added that. Will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Right. Oh wow, That's you can right. finally have like uh, other characters um not really like a big uh, not being a huge quest, issue I'm now of the like interrupting the um story quest. That's really good. They finally added it after all these years, so about the other harbingers too yes i selfishly also think that will be cool. damn all right <laughs> yes all the random npcs <laughs> want to interrupt my quest yes hello bush welcome to the stream yep just started the um just started the um version up version program oh here we go is that her idol animation just sits in the throw that's so cool she has wings too oh dang <laughs> Which fa yes, father is here. Here we go. Wait, is that a scythe? No way, her freaking main weapon is a scythe. Okay, now I really have to pull for her weapon if that it's uh, if her weapon is actually a scythe. God damn it. Man, she's so sick. I love her gameplay. Really fast play, like, really like fast paced, like and with a scythe as well. Like a, yeah, like a Just add to the more coolness yeah, factor. Ballerina, so huh? I know, right? Yeah. It reminds right. me of Eula. If we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then oh, they got implants! God damn it! <laughs> One of life. Uh, been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives. What's this? Is that her kit? Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? Okay. Arlequino's uh, elemental skill strikes opponents. You know, it applies blood directives to them. Oh yeah, right. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> that one um that one effect that uh cuts your health a bit wait i i think i remember it's the red portion of the ER yeah the red portion bar. thing when you have a bond of life active it'll absorb but the any healing this will grant receives. so they bond of life for percentage until the bond of life value has been healed hmm. yeah Yes. Yuna enters the uh, Mask of Red Death State. <laughs> the value of her bound life is equal or to or greater than her certain percentage HP. Her normal charge attack converted to pyro damage. Oh, that's sick. Look at that gameplay. Look at that. Like, it's just red fire. It just makes it more cool. It's not like the normal, like, orange fire that you usually see with, like, other characters. It's just just red fire just makes it much more cooler. <laughs> Do you know why I can't get a screech of the screech? Oh, I'm sorry. Hold up. Put simply yes. There you go. Wait, wait, I'm just going to um. There you go. Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, maybe I'm too large. Maybe I'm just going to um. Down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. Actually, that that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Oh. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Elemental our skill. Latino skill doesn't just damage enemies; it also applies a blood debt directive to elemental any skill. enemy that blood it hits, directive. which oh, okay. will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or elemental, her skill. elemental burst, she elemental will absorb burst. nearby blood debt directives. This oh. also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbs. But she also so like marks their opponents. Oh, okay, really so that's how like the blood de okay, directive, well, whatever thing she is, can't works. She regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So huh. how does she stay in the fight? 
Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her oh, attack. Oh, okay. Her uh, use her burst also, to get their health back. Her talents, while I see. While is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. That's her burst, oh, my god. So Lucia yeah, summons a, like, a red black hole yeah, yeah, yeah. in the background. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> the black hole effect on her burst. Yeah, it's so, so good. Kind of a savage. I mean... <laughs> um, Looks like right, the wait so was worth it up for, like, a lot of people who've been, like, saving for her. Whenever she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, special movement. For scaring your enemies. Oh, well, okay, special yeah, movement? Like no way. <laughs> You're just floating, like, um, <laughs> in floating intimidating. That's so sick. Reminds me of Akaroi and Welt for all about HSR. Hmm. Really definitely, um, definitely taking some notes. Okay, event wish. Okay, Lenny is. Yeah, Lenny is pretty much confirmed. Okay, so that's pretty understandable. Crimson Moots. That does not look like a scythe. The Wanderer and Baiju will return in the Okay, Wanderer so is, uh, okay, what? I was, okay, so I was right with the prediction of Wanderer, but Baiju is interesting. Wait, didn't we already get, like, Baiju pretty early in this version? That's pretty early. Oh, uh, of course, we did we saw her. Talking about how the nave shows different faces of course, we also saw her as a boss. New weekly boss, let's go. And probably an, uh, a new character for me to try and solo. Hmm, <laughs> Eula right. versus Arlecchino, guys. Yes, I am ready. And yes, that's design. That boss design is so sick. Alright, here we go. That's her boss. Oh dang. Oh that has a huge claw. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. I have to make a uh, Eula vs. Arlecchino video. My C6 Eula against um the uh, weekly boss Arlecchino. I'm not sure if it's possible though, because there's sometimes uh, some bosses have like some kind of mechanics that doesn't really like um Yeah, that doesn't really um uh, make it 100% um, soloable, but it also depends on like what character we'll be using. It's an AoE attack, okay. <laughs> Dang. What is this? Okay, spreading attacks. Oh, so you really have to like uh, dodge where the um where the like um attacks that is like not going to be going. Interesting. This is be yeah, I could definitely see the uh, this boss being solo above. It's a breed of Ak Akronichula. God damn it! Yep. Oh come on! I need to win the uh, 75, 35. I have enough extra post hit pity on her weapon banner, but if I fail, then uh, it's game over. But I believe. Where's she dodge? Oh jeez. It feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, wait, so if she dodges attacks, how are we going to be able to do damage on her? Do we have to, um, do we have to, like, try to punish or try to counter her attacks? For example, right, when you attack, when she attacks, you have to immediately attack. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, Cinder of Two Worlds Flames will be enhanced. But oh, the, whoa, that was, that was that was so much damage. Life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Hmm. Enhanced charge attack. Oh, that was a red laser. Oh, come can you can you? Oh, come on! I wish the uh, normal Marlequino have that laser attack. Total control of her. It's not it's not the meme again, right? The moment you uh, the moment uh, you get the boss character in your um the moment you get to use the boss character. <laughs> It's um, it's not like the boss character at all. <laughs> you can get Navia's weapon at 10 pity. I can get uh, Arlequino's weapon even at max pity. 
Then Ace Boss Four. Uh, who knows though? Story quest. Normally if that's the case, you might have to um, give me your account and pull in the weapon banner because I have insane luck. But it's up still up to you. What is this? Adventure rank forty or higher. Adventure rank forty. Challenge her directly by going to the. Okay, so we can immediately. Um. Oh yeah, right. I forgot about that. We can um immediately um do the transfer mage. Yeah, the quick challenge thing. Yeah. Nice little shortcut to the battle. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. Wait, so if Linny is going to be rerunning with the Knave, then um, Linny's weapon is going to be featured alongside the... Um... Oh, artifact sex. Okay. Okay, so this is definitely an artifact set that I really need to farm. And finish Reverie. I'm actually considering it now since your weapon banner pluck is far ahead of mine, basically. Okay, but don't okay, but don't do blame me if I manage to get up unlucky though. Yes, <laughs> but it's RNG is RNG. You'll never know what will ever happen. City will be experiencing an unsolved Sumeru City. For some reason, oh really? A new a new story quest for Sino? That's unexpected. Or you know what's funny, right? Like Sino is all having like a second story quest, and he's not even like featured in the banner for some reason. Um, Baiju is like involved in the banner. I actually thought that Sino is also going to be involved because I saw Sino was involved earlier, and I also thought he's going to be like having a rerun in the banner. Well, okay. Poor Venti, bro. Like he's literally the only archer that has not gotten a like act two for a. Uh, act 2 for a um, story quest. Dang. Oh yeah, right. A new character. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. So yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest. Lupus Arius Act 2. Travelers can venture to Sumeru hmm. and investigate this. Oh, it's been a while since we've done uh, anything in the Sumeru region. In due time, of course. <laughs> so are you so it's nice, uh, somewhat of a nice change of great. pace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information to what share. What is this? Wait, wait, really? Wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented too much information too quickly. Can oh, okay. Take a break, please, so we can break, okay. Oh, he can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> it is what it is, bro. No, but yeah. No, Damon, you're right. I know. A uh, redeem Let's code. Check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> right. Of okay, course. That's what I <laughs> All right, first redemption code, guys. Okay. Um, w T K B. Uh, M B D. Eight. Z Z. RZ. Oh jeez, the freaking um forget uh music in the background. Red them wait um redemption oh. There you go. Might as well um pin this. Well yeah, so far her uh, kit is interesting. He's using the uh, using is he, she's using the freaking bond of light mechanic, something that uh, that uh, enemy NPC is also using, like uh, the Fatui and some of the Fatui NPCs, right? So uh, Arlequino has the um, pretty much using the uh, exact same like type of um, life of bond mechanic as well. So that's interesting. You're in the way. Oh come on! I'm in the way again. Sorry. There you go. I did pay. I didn't so paste the um, code there, so the doesn't story. matter. There you go. It's in the chat now. House of the Heart. So why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning? New area. Wait, like what's Remuria. this? Wait, is Remuria basically just an underwater area? Okay. <laughs> A new area of Fontaine will open in I don't want to freaking um cover them. Just put myself here. Petricor. Mm. Petricor. <sighs> Though, would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, it's a pretty small yeah, island. I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to. Wait a minute. Why is this? Why does this reminds me a bit of like Mexico vibes? Now that you've mentioned it, a bit. Definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? I I swear I feel like I saw that village somewhere in like a Disney movie or something. So 
How big was such what a glorious this? and prosperous nation, really? Wait, is that a freaking um? Now that you say that, I mean, is that this freaking um narwhal or the narwhal now, boss? That's a neat trick. Bro, <clears throat> uh, Kunzu, you have enough of her triple crown for your. Yeah, I think I have enough for triple crowning her. That is just giving me Animal Crossing vibes. I have. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, you cut it right. It does gives you um. Oh yeah, cat. <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, hmm. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. I. I actually. I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get that's okay. Okay, that's not the narwhal. Never mind. <laughs> words, so you'll just have to learn about the symphony. Wait, this is literally the um Atlantis. I'll avoid spoiling the right? Itself, this is literally Atlantis. <laughs> it's Animal Crossing, but with a rage racing enabled, <laughs> basically. Dragon in the deep seas. Dragon in deep seas. So you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. Okay, so is this like a major world quest? Oh, jeez. Right, so I really need to uh, do the um the Chenyuville world quest because I really don't want to like have uh, really do not want to have like uh, a bunch of uh, world quests just stacking up on my um quest menu. Meanwhile, a forgotten Marvel's gotta soothe them for this one. What is it? Statue of Marble and Brass. New boss. Oh, jeez. Wait, if there's a new boss involved, that means I need to farm this boss for Alakino's materials, right? That's what that's what I'm guessing. God damn it. So this is like so this this boss is going to be really important then. No, oh, jeez. I'm so hyped for it. Oh my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great job with introducing Well, looks like I have no choice but to actually do this quest then. If I really want to like level up Arlequino, I need to I need to um fight this boss good luck to yeah good luck to us indeed song of the dragon and freedom will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint oh we do okay automatic teleport waypoint let's go exploring the new area i've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future so exciting i know so that makes things easier that's all the information that we have about fontaine for now and now outside of the region <laughs> dot, dot, dot. it seems like a new yep. style of rock and roll is getting rock and popular roll. in inazuma rock and roll. inazuma okay something you know All right. something uh, involving in zoom uh, inazuma we'll as well the next section take a look at today's second redemption code yeah all right yeah good luck to us guys oh might as well move my head a bit there you go okay second redemption code um IBU nine HHRM. God damn it! Good luck to us guys. Just good luck. I uh, replace pin message. There you go. Second redemption code. But yeah, looks like we got another like underwater place to explore, which is going to be a bit of a hassle. But the place looks really interesting though. And really beautiful at the same time. Of course, it's really like giving us like the Atlantis vibes so much. Basically like a huge kingdom under the sea. That's basically Atlantis. How long will it take uh, until uh, version 4.6 uh, release? If I'm lucky, my welcome uh, would end when the version releases. And I can review it again. It should be uh, happening in like two weeks from now. Two weeks from now. What's this? That a musical tour is coming to Inazuma. Music and event. Organizer is none other than Arataki Ito. Okay, uh, so okay, and another <laughs> event that involves Ito. Okay, no like wonder he's in this um, it would be in this um, freaking quad so discussion right now. Still Imagine them selling a recipe for dumbbell. <laughs> Because it's Animal Crossing, bro. Right, right? You got a free That's Goro, right. it, it looks like? Okay. I'll take a free Goro. It can be really helpful for my um, Navia build. Or Navia team. Oh my gosh. And even the concert name sounds really epic. Oh yeah. No, the way he says... Iridescent Arataki rock and I like Yeah, and Nico is just in the background just um smiling. I do not know what she's like really plotting in the background there. Specifically... It's about a brave puppy. Brave Save puppy. The lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's so cute. Adorable. 
I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. Hey, I, I love me by dogs. Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Two weeks, so and that would be uh, 14 days. My welcome is still a valid until 18 days from now. Yeah, that's um, that's more than enough to like run out until the um, until the um, new version comes out. Here's more exclusive news for you. Dvorak will be giving away a brand hey, new rhythm game event is back. Let's go. It's called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Wait. So if, if music is involved, then we should be able to get like a rhythm game event, right? Especially if you enjoy playing music in the game. And um, yeah, we also be getting a new instrument. Amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to force of awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. Huh? <laughs> All right, there's three steps to That's preparing for the festival. Number one. Extreme yes. Extreme Carnival Ensemble. Rhythm Gaming is back. Let's go. Games ...while the stage is still coming together. Wow, uh. those keys look really unique. Yeah, they really are. And the second uh, get ready for like people to make insanely hard um, rhythm game um, the trillion trick troll. Rhythm trillion game trick notes, huh? Trillion trick troll. I did it. We can't ah. have what was that? Rock and music festival without a rock and venue. So, travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his Should be, uh, should be. I wonder if the music is Fontaine music. So last rhythm game event was in Azoma. Yeah. Was, it's quite a while since we got the uh, rhythm game event. So, yeah. Can't have a party without adoring fans. We should be able to do to get lovers to come jam with us. Yeah. After listening to their tunes, we can the, the missing music notes. Oh, so we'll the be story able missing to music sing. notes. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, we'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Wait, Mondstadt as well. Tense and thrilling. Does it mean anything if I say Wind Trace, Seekers Oh, and nice. Finally yes. yes. Wind Trace is back. Let's go. Wind Trace. And, and I love Wind Trace, bro. It's my favorite. Um, it's my favorite mini game event. The game has undergone some mechanics changes. Yeah. And new mechanics, it seems. That's very intuitive of you. Yeah, you'll be playing. Okay, guys. If this is the case, prepare to uh, pre prepare for us to have fun in this event as well. In the future. The rebels are captured for the first time. They'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short surveillance time. zone. Now, they will be automatically freed after their time out, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. But if you get sent to jail twice, you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> okay, so there's like a reviving mechanic, pretty much. Okay, okay, people are going to be using that to like try to bait like other um seekers in then. Okay, so new strategies. Let's go. We could do viewer win trace. Yeah, viewer win trace. I like that uh, back then. They win the match. Oh, and rebels can I would suck as a seeker. <laughs> and yeah, not everyone is really good at seekers. Wait. From repairing the signaling devices. Wait, there's like repairing stuff? Wait, is this is this freaking um? Wait a minute, what's that freaking game called? She gets it. She gets it. Um. The next part is even more. Like that one game that you have to like um. Signaling device. You have to like run from the freaking hunter and stuff like that, trying to repair um. Trying to repair, um, it'll give off a light visible by every player in trying the to repair the these, uh, some kind of like device or generators or whatever they're called. Ooh, okay. so that I forgot the name is, but it's really, really reminding me of like that one, uh, one horror type game. It's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve wracking. Dead by Daylight, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it's, yeah, repairing those machines just gives us alone the, um, Dead by Daylight events. What's this? Commission. What do you mean? Especially, uh, there's especially shaped. Sorry, I search. Is there's a chef who's famous for using unusual oh, chef. ingredients, and he wants unusual ingredients. Is that Zhang Ling? Huh? Oh yeah, and not just a pyro regisfine. He also wants to befriend friends with a pyro regisfine. Geovision and a jade plume terror shroom ah. and the millennial pearl seahorse. Why this guy wants to um befriend like you guys are the world bosses? You would Weird, but anyway, sure, I guess. A chef recently returned from a trip to trip to Notland. Ooh, Notland drop. Or Notland name drop. I mean, up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlan have Saurian companions. That makes hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Wait. Got the guts? Then you can take on fearless difficulty. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. 
So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge. Okay, are we good? The, okay, I think we're okay. We're back. God damn it! Why does OBS just keep uh, messing up uh, a lot uh, lately? Uh, well, yeah, we're back. Yeah, we're back. Okay, so we're actually getting like a combat event. It looks like. What's this? Okay, so like a combat event that um. Yeah, you can like choose like difficulties and stuff like that. Yeah. Is those types of like events? Event. Vibro Crystal Vibro event is back. Crystal okay. Ooh, it seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate. Yeah, I know how this event works. Aaron, I am so impressed by hey, this. Gold, welcome back. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how long does each phase of Bannery last? Uh, usually around 20 days, I think. Requires two teams. Before okay. Each battle, you can set up vibro crystal harmonics plans for each of your teams. Yeah, of course. I know how this event works. When you combine unless they add some uh, unless they add something um something um different. Yeah, usually like an average like around 20 days, I think. Yeah, I think 20 days, right? Yeah, 20 days. Is usually the average when it comes to like each banner run. So even after we um lose the um first 50-50 like uh, in the very first day of the banner we sell like 20 days of like trying to uh trying to save up for um trying to save up uh, primo gems for more wishes so we still have uh, a bit of time even after um even after we um lose the 50-50 uh, the genius invocation oh, the, uh, don't don't really care <laughs> Don't really care about TCG. Literally every update, like, there's always the uh, TCG involved. Which I don't really care, of course. Overflowing Mastery. Probably don't even need to. Of course, Max, the freaking MVP. Okay, last redemption code. I, yes, you agree? I was gonna well, say I, I agree, agree too. I agree. Agree. <laughs> so how about now? Let's I will die. Oh my god, code. I'm so sorry what happened, bro. Redemption code. But it is what it is. No, so we're playing Mastery for our Arlequino talent books. Yep. Although that's probably not going to be a huge problem for me. I already like pre farm for everything that I need to uh, get her to reach triple crown. Okay, all right. All right, last redemption code. There you go. Oh, oops. Might as well just move my head. There you go. <sighs> right, so. Super hype for the, um, for Arlequino. That's out of everything, right? I think it's the like the only thing that is like I'm really hyped about. But um I'm also like super hyped about like Wind Trace coming back after all this time, so really excited to play with you guys again with the viewers. Welcome We're back. back everyone. System Next optimizations, up, okay. Here we go. Imagine if her talent books were in order, bro. Yeah. You, oh, then um my freaking the yeah, my freaking uh, pre-farming is just going to be useless. Instead of having to quick update what was this you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your um okay Ooh, okay something with the um something with a teapot has have not been doing like I've not done the teapot for like such a long time okay another a new updated um change a new updated avatar feature that's good isn't it Oh, and there's Arama and the Thunderbird. And oh, the Thunderbird. Uh, and more I missed I missed that freaking uh, quest, bro. That was such a good uh, quest. Like be better not. I wasted like half a dozen condensed resin for that book domain. Yes. <laughs> yeah, same as me. Hey, Eden, what's up? Welcome to the stream. The teapot feature is useful for me. Hey, nice. If you yeah, if you care about the teapot, right, then I can see that being um helpful. What's this? Oh, the compass, right. Okay, so the compass going the, that compass change is going to be really helpful for finding uh, hidden chests much more easier. Soundtrack news. Soundtrack news. Okay. 
<laughs> That's right. Genshin impacts third hmm. Fontaine OST. Okay, so not really like a huge, huge amount of changes during the um during the in terms of like the system optimizations. But the um Fontaine and related content. But the uh what's it called? Oh no, y'all! Never mind. It's already over. Left for us to present. I know. I know. So. Wait. I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. Oh, it's not so. okay. That's it? Okay. Like yeah, the compass is actually a lot more useful. Yeah, the compass is a lot more useful now. We need to have Ven answer right now in this moment. Um, it's okay, you've got now, this. Okay. Got this. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, we only have, um, only managed to get like 35 minutes on this, um, in this, so uh, special program announcement so far. We did a lot of work mm, so many people are excited really for Arlequino. Cool, she's so else. cool. It's just from her, just looking at her gameplay so alone, cool. it's so cool, she's bro. So freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything. I'm also excited about her like story quest as well. <laughs> so we really need really to get her. Um, so we really need to do her story quest then, because I'm guessing in order to unlock the weekly boss, we need to do her story quest. So maybe, so maybe when the uh, version comes out, we have to do her story quest immediately. Yeah, yeah, that's so yeah, it's so cool. Oh, jeez, God, that's uh, that, that's unfortunate. Really unfortunate, bro. But we need to learn from the mistake. Unfortunately, mistakes happen. Huge mistake of like letting anyone else access your account. Yeah, Wintrace. I love the Wintrace. Of awesome things coming in version 4.6. So I hope Seems everyone's like, excited. Yes, yes, I am. Yeah. Yay. Wow, okay. I just have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so glad <laughs> I got to be here with you guys. <laughs> so fun, guys. Such a great time. <laughs> so thanks for being here. And I think that's all we've got for this program. So ah. we will see you all in game. See you guys in yep. yeah. We'll Bye. see them in the version. <laughs> nice. All right, so oh crap! I you know what I could have done? We could have um screenshot the um screenshot the content and see what kind of um and just uh yeah just upload it in like uh Imgur so I can just um immediately just review them. But um, but nah, doesn't really matter anyways. But yeah, overall super excited. But uh um remember her signature weapon only uh, turns into a scythe when equipped by Alakino, and if Alakino doesn't have her uh, signature weapon. And the pole arm she uses has a faint outline of a scythe. Oh, I see. Wait, so her scythe has like a unique ability? Are you saying? Um, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we really, so we, if that's the case, right? So we really need to get her, um, get her, um, signature weapon then, huh? Right, give me a sec, I'm just gonna pin the, um, Genshin Traveler. There you go, and I'm gonna pin this on the Discord channel. All right, pin the redeem coins in my Discord channel. There you go. Yep, I'll go ahead and redeem those before it expires. So we only have like 24 hours to uh, until we um, have not redeemed this. But yeah, Melody Foz, welcome to the stream. Uh, I've seen every person's POV side from this live stream. I'm guessing you're watching other streamers as well, huh? Okay. But yeah. Uh, in my perspective, though, um, most mostly I'm really excited about the Arlequino, uh, of course, Arlequino herself, and um, and her story quest as well. So I'm really excited of like uh, knowing more about uh, Arlequino, and um, yeah, maybe the Sino quest is. Yeah, I almost forgot about the freaking uh, Sino story quest. I'm also uh, yeah, the, the Sino story quest is also was pretty interesting. So I'm probably going to be doing the Asino quest maybe like uh, after the um after I done the um Arlequino story quest. But we also be getting like a new character it seems in the in Sino story quest. So yeah, we have not no we uh yeah, it's not mentioned in the what his name or who he, who he is and like what his name is. But we probably will going to be knowing more about him in um in the story quest. Zai Z how what's up welcome to the stream you watched the live already yeah I already watched the live yeah me too I just finished uh, watching the live I'm still waiting for the fountain of uh, Lucene to update fountain of Lucene oh yeah right the uh, fountain thing did you wait either did you seriously just maxed out everything in the fountain of Lucene damn okay 
You really like an out here just fully exploring stuff, huh? Jeez. Right, I'm just gonna transfer. Yep, super hyped about um the upcoming up update. So we have about um Yeah, it should the update should be happening in around 24th of April, I think, because that's Wednesday. You have, of course you have. Okay, so yeah. Um so we literally have 12 days left until the uh update happens. I'm getting desperate. I'm doing all the hangout quests just for the 60 primo gems. <laughs> Yeah, as uh, as much as possible, we have a lot of time to try and like uh, regain our primo gems, and um, there's like a lot of uh, world quests that I can do even uh, even still to this day. Like uh, yeah, the Chen Yu Veil story quest, I have not uh, I've not fully um got into that yet. So I'm obviously just going to do them off stream because um, pretty boring just just to do that uh, on stream though. It's not really interesting for me to do it um uh, on stream because uh, there's not really like voice dialogues. Uh, most of the time, it's just speed reading through. So yeah, you have 150 hydro sigils. Dang. Yeah, this is not uh, nowadays, right? I'm just too lazy to like um really explore around. But if I do manage to like find a ch uh, find a chest, right? I do try my best to actually like get them because um yeah, a chest is a chest, right? So I'm willing to get them. Um. All right, give me a sec here. Um, let me um. There you go. But yeah, uh, not only that, uh, the new areas as well. That, uh, that little village in the um, yeah, that little village in the middle of like uh, in the middle of the lake. Um, I don't know, I don't know what we're going to be doing in that village. I forgot. Yeah, I somewhat, yeah, I somewhat forgot. But I think we're, I think the story quest can must is going to be also being involved there as well, right? I'm guessing. I don't know. And of course, that new underwater Atlantis area as well. Um. Yep, underwater, more underwater stuff. Hopefully, hopefully exploring it is not going to be a huge hassle. But uh, knowing my experience in like the underwater stuff so far, it's uh, not too bad, but it can be pretty annoying at times as well. Like the fact that you can't really like use your like um, character's abilities that much underwater. Yeah, it does limit your combat abilities, but it is what it is. You're underwater anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um. Um, what else do I want to talk about during that uh, live stream? Um, yeah, the events, yeah, yeah, the events as well, right? The, um, the Wintry's event, aka the Hide and Seek event, always excited for that, so look out for, like, uh, during that update as well, I'm going to be doing, like, a uh, viewer, uh, viewer Wintry's again, always have, uh, always, uh, fun to play with you guys, so, yep, excited for that, so I actually have, like, um, other people, like, um, other people uh, playing as well so yeah time for that just use this big charge attack <laughs> yeah big yeah how, yeah how to play nuvolet easy skill charge attack uh skill charge attack burst charge attack yeah this charge attack is just insanely strong yeah you can even like use a free-to-play weapon for uh nuvolet as well and it can do really well like give him prototype amber right and it can do really good with that with that weapon um yeah uh going back though uh other than that not much else for me to say now yeah pretty uh pretty generic update but i'm, I'm pretty um pretty hyped for alicino of course okay so and yeah no dane's leaf quest yet so i'm guessing we'll be able to um get him in um in the next version i'm guessing so version 4.7 so we're going to be expecting to get um uh we'll be expecting to get um dane's leaf quest in that version so hopefully hopefully that uh quest is going to be really exciting because every time every time a dane's leaf quest uh, comes around it's always going to be um a major um lore thing is uh as well in the um in genshin so yeah knowing more about the lore and stuff like that and uh yeah it's just a really major quest overall so really exciting for it to um happen and how not how to not cry while others got harbinger lady um I, I don't know bro i don't know how to um i don't know how to really feel about your situation right now except for uh just except for uh just saying um um condolences i guess yeah that was um that was really unfortunate yeah again Lesson learned, never ever share your um, account details to anyone else. If anyone has access to your account, 
it's probably uh, always uh, stay alert if they um do something um do th do something stupid in that account. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I feel so bad as well, right? You were uh, uh, you were one of us. <laughs> we were destined to get Arlecchino, yes, bro. Oh uh, why? Yeah, if that's the case. Then um, uh, yeah, I don't really feel bad of like you wasting all of your uh, friends' account on like uh, the standard banner. If that's the case, right? You did say it on the freaking Discord, so. I mean, if it's up, to, if you want to do it, then go for it. But, yeah. Uh, hope this old man does more damage. Freaking the freaking the new blood is insane, bro. Trust me. Like, um, yeah, I can uh, I can share stories about like my account being hacked as well, right? Like, during uh, during the time when my account got hacked, um, someone uh, someone pulled for uh, Yoimiya, and um, yeah, um. Uh, when I actually use Yoimiya, and actually like um, she's actually like somewhat fun to play, right? And uh, it resulted to me actually like really liking Yoimiya, so I actually like um, so I actually have like almost no regrets of actually getting Yoimiya from a uh, from a hacker. And they got a deal of cool. <laughs> but you actually did try to like pull in his account, bro. <laughs> and they got yeah. Well, there you go. There you freaking go. All right. Okay, anyways, um, I'm just going to uh, continue the yeah, continue the event in uh, Genshin, I guess. Because there are still some things that I want to do in Genshin. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish off this, um, finish up this, uh, quest. Uh, event quest. I'm pretty close to, like, uh, finishing this anyway, so I might as well do it. Does not like the face. Can you, uh, you spit this up? Oh, nice of them, Gunzu. They, uh, they hack you, give you a me, and finish the damn hard, hard hack quest for you. Yeah. <laughs> Does not like the legs, okay. Yep. At least, uh, uh, not too much damage that has happened. Thankfully. I even managed to get, um, get enough Primo Gems for, not, for um, actually getting, um, Naida during then as well. I'm glad, and yeah, now that I have um, now that I have uh, now and when I had my account back, yeah, I'm just glad like not too much damage is done. And um, yeah, and just to be safer, I um, I uh, have my um account or I get an account linked to my PS4, because for one, you can't really like um remove uh, someone's uh, PSN account. Unless they're on the PS4, so it's permanently in there. Oops. Oh crap, I forgot. Look in their hands. Eat? Where is everything? Alright, there you go. Yeah, so I'm just gonna finish these, um... These, uh, event mini games off. So I'll be done with it. Okay, so who is going to be the, um, featured character now? Wait, is that fish? <laughs> Freaking fish, y'all. Oh. Oh, uh, no voice lines, yeah. This event could have been much more better if they added voice lines in here. Oh man. Uh, oh, by the way, which artifact for this old man who drinks water? Um, Why do say Hunter? That's pretty much his um best in slot, the artifact. So go ahead and use um, Why do say Hunter? And uh, yeah. You'll be pretty good. I don't know. Yeah, I somewhat forgot what um what uh, stats that uh, or what main stats for um Marchuse Hunter that you need for um Nivellet though. This could have been much more better if she had a voice. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna freaking read this by the way. <laughs> We're not gonna say it out loud. It is official after all. She has like a really interesting um speech i guess <laughs> his name is dopey he's team princess Hassan. i 
nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, HP sands. Yeah, HP sands, hydro damage goblet, crit rate, crit damage. Oh, there you go. Okay, so HP sands. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, uh, Nuvolet doesn't really benefit from attack. So, yeah, HP sands is the way to go. Hydro damage goblet. Um, crit rate, crit damage circlet. Yeah, basically that. Yeah, think of uh, think of Nuvolet as Utah, right? Basically that. Oh, this thing scales on. Yeah, Nuvolet scales on HP. Yeah, I can't really have. You know what? I have not done a uh, character review stream on Genshin for like a while now. I never really do that very very often, anyways. Yeah, because uh, I need to at least do one character review every um every version. So, yeah, maybe next stream though. Maybe next stream uh, when I stream Genshin again, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try doing a character review. And uh, yeah, at this point, I might as well just do the um do the Spiral Abyss after this because I've not done the Spiral Abyss. I, of course, I could do them off stream, but I need to do them immediately because I only have like a few days left. The Spiral Abyss to reset again. I'm just too lazy to do it. Give it to me first. Far as it were to be mega strong, if you blah, blah whatever. Uh, don't worry, God, I somewhat relate to your dilemma. I literally have never let signature weapon when I wanted stuff of home and the weapon is still unused even to this day. Yeah, Caddy, you might as well just give the freaking, um, uh, the Nuvolet signature weapon the code. <laughs> Damn it. Rip. Just freaking rip. Alright. Oh, yeah, right. There's another door here. The last one. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah, Code really wants that weapon. Oh, wait, okay. Another event. Next day. Yeah, you know, if I lose the 50-50, right, on the, or like the 70, uh, the 75, um, 25, um, on the weapon banner, that's going to be really, really suck. I mean, I should have enough, uh, wishes, uh, to get guaranteed on the weapon banner, though, but, um, I really want to get, uh, try and get also, um, Arlequino's constellations, too. So I really do not want to lose too much on the, uh, weapon banner, because I also really want to get more, um, constellations for Arlequino. All right, say the twelve, bro. So instead of the signature weapon, which weapon to use? Uh, for free to play option, I would recommend Prototype Amber. That's a craftable weapon, by the way. So if you have like um bullets running around, you might as well get the um. You might as well get the um Prototype Amber. That's still a really good weapon for um. Or, um, or Oh, that's a really aggressive cat. Self pity in the weapon manner is around, yeah, I think around 60, I think. Probably give him some place. Get too close, and all that uh, swatting might catch you in the face. Yeah, 60, yes. So 60 is the um, self pity for the weapon manner. A new, yeah, it's a new stray. It's because just barge in here after snowball. She, she also has a scar on her face and a, a freaking bandana on his neck. Yeah, that cat is huge. Is that, what is he, a freaking big, uh, big floppa? <laughs> I mean, guys, have you seen that freaking big floppa meme? Uh, I mean, not, it's not really like a huge meme that is trending right now, but just the big floppa memes, right? 
the freaking huge ass wildcat just um just hissing at you. Yeah, I can't believe actually uh, people actually have that as a pet. It's insane, guy. A freaking wildcat, bro. I don't think I could get Arlecchino with the uh, three key primos. Ah, oh, oof, that's really yeah. Yeah, that's not enough to get Arlecchino. Yes, whimper. Smart cat, yep. Looks like a smart cat indeed. Is that a Knight of Pavonius? Yeah. Wait, this cat involved is a Knight of Pavonius? Um... Sir Pounce a lot, bro. That works, I guess. Well, one more person for not getting Harbinger Lady Oof. Of the fact that they're cute doesn't hurt. Nice. Most probably, uh, yeah, it's probably Jean's pet, yeah. You're probably right on that. Wait, did they say what the new artifacts do? Um, I don't think so. I I don't think they really talked about those uh, new artifacts, though. We should be able to get the, the the information about those artifacts pretty soon, though. So, don't worry. So let's just wait. Oh, yeah, right. We need to finish her home. Oh. Oops. Too much. Um, hold up. Trying to find the balance here. That works too. Oop, too much. Ah, oh, it's so close. Come on. Uh, I tried to find this freaking balance. Is um hard. Instructions unclear. I made four prototypes ambers. Huh? Wait, you made four? Are you gonna freaking um refine them? Maybe that's a bit too much, bro. Well, oh, there you go. Yeah, I, I forgot what the freaking passive the um for the passive of the um of the uh, prototype ember does. Doesn't like head pads, of course. Likes the ears. Good, you could, yeah, you can't uh, hurt five the uh, prototype Amber then. There you go. Does not like the chest. Does the passive really matter? It's, I don't know. It does? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Isn't the, um, now I remember, right? Isn't the, um, Prototype Amber has, like, some kind of, like, a healing effect on the, um, on the, um, on the, um, on its passive, I think? It is, right? Neck. Does not like the neck.
Yeah, so if, so if the healing passive, um, so if the if it so if it is the healing passive, right? Then uh, that can be a really uh, good uh, weapon for Nuvolet. Then oh, with this weapon can uh, Nahida be healer? I think so. What the Ergig six energy at R five uh, when you're burst and also he yes yeah it heals all the party members. So yeah, there you go. That's going to be pretty helpful for Nuvolet then. there there you go Is that it okay so I'm pretty much done with this event then are you members yep yeah you're probably going to talk about like uh, the party members for Nivellet right I don't really have a party oh huh Is it just a team? I don't know. And I never really used Nuvolet, so um, I don't know what kind of team. But I'm since he's uh since he's Hydra, right? So I'm guessing, of course, Zhongling is going to be a really good uh, support for Vaporize. Maybe Zhongling can be really helpful. And um, who else? Maybe an extra Hydro. So yeah, for if you have Forina, then Forina is going to be an incredible um support for a Nuvolet. Um, uh, maybe he- yeah, maybe at, have a- have at least one healer in the team can be pretty helpful, so yeah. Uh, of course, Furina is an obvious option. And yeah, have- like, yeah, I suggest one having, um, having, like, a Hydro character, because for, um, it's for proccing the Hydro residents, right? So have, like, another Hydro character, like, Okomi can be useful, even Mona can be useful there as well. Um, Sing Chu maybe? I don't know. I don't- yeah, I don't think, uh, Sing Chu is going to be helpful, though. You're not really doing, like, normal attacks that much. So you can't really like proc Sing Chou's a burst. Because majority of the time with Nuvolet you only do um charge attacks. Um uh, other than that though, what else could that is uh, helpful with a Nuvolet team? So so far only a suggestion for uh yeah, for now or any other healer. Specifically specifically a Hydra one. Or if not, then uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe a separate healer, I guess. Electro charge, yeah, electro charge can be helpful, I guess. I mean, I don't know how good um, a Dendro team come alongside with um. I don't know how good um a Dendro comp will uh go up against um with um with uh, Nivolet, I mean. Visual Cookie. Maybe if Cookie, then I'm then maybe a uh, Dendro comp can be pretty helpful. I mean, a healer isn't really necessary for Nuvolet. He does drain yeah, his health. This elemental skill will bring it back up so that you won't have to worry about being one shot. Oh, ah, okay, I see. So, yeah, um, yeah, t uh, yeah, I think a shielder maybe. So, if you have Zhong Li, uh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure you can get interrupted when you're like uh, doing your charge attack. So, yeah, maybe a shielder is going to be really helpful. So, uh, of course, Zhong Li is an obvious option. Uh, we have Diona as well, Layla. Yeah, you have if you have like a lot of options as a, for a shielder, then um, a shielder is going to be pretty helpful and um, not really like um, interrupt your um, charge attacks with Nivellet that much. So yeah, having a shielder really works. I really is going to be really helpful. Yeah, maybe freeze can be pretty helpful as well. Think I think. Oh hey Albedo, it's been a while since I've seen you here. おそらくここにいるはずだ。ん？旅人とパイモン、それにシスターロサリア。そちらの方は冒険者かい？And I don't believe we met. Okay, so we know us and Rosaria. And uh, meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, this adventure here, who? どうやらみんなすでにオレンジ騎士と友達になったみたいだね。Oh, uh, you're. You're level 20, 120, uh, you're level 20, Diona finally got a job. Well, there you go. Diona is, can be a really good uh, a support for Nuvolet then. 
Because uh, Zaddy is busy with Navia team, I see. I mean, if you want to, you can just use uh, Zhang Li and your um and your Nivellet team if you want. It depends if you want to like um uh, do an abyss though. If uh, Nivellet is helpful with uh, in the in your Navia team in the abyss, then yeah, maybe a separate heal a separate shield there can be helpful alongside with Nivellet then. But if you're just roaming around the world or doing like a normal regular domain, then um, having a Zongli and Novelet alongside each other can be really good as well. So you don't really need to worry about um, uh, the team comps get interrupted that much with your Navia. Nah, worry, you're fine. No, we know a light to investigate her business well enough. Frantically searches for the relevant documents will explain the purpose of the shelter. But the investigation team doesn't handle such. Location of this cat. Intern team feline treatment case number three. Sir Pouncelo. Wait, is that actually her? Is, is his name Sir Pants Pouncelo? Wow, Paimon, really freaking guessed the name correctly. You should see a team. It's a, uh, it's a, it's the confusing. Yes, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of options that you can use with Logo Nivellet. Like vaporize is an, ob is an obvious pick. Freeze maybe can be pretty good as well. Uh, Hyper Bloom maybe. And also is that uh, yeah, a Yeah, pet, I don't know. Oh, it's a Tokyo's Tokyo 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 Oh, that would hard be a welcome result for any party involved. Uh-oh. To be honest, Nuvolet can stand up. Yeah. If you want to, you can just use Nuvolet alone. <laughs> I mean, there's like a lot of uh, a lot of people actually using just Nuvolet in uh, Spiral Abyss, and he, he can do really well. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. Yeah, literally, literally you can just use uh, Nuvolet alone. <laughs> there we go. That solves up everything with your um, team, uh, team suggestion dilemma, buddy. Capable of knocking out the night, bro. Is this a wait? Is this an experimented cat? Uh oh. Essentially, he ingested a whopper flower nectar due to certain effects that are not entirely understood as yet. Plus, it to triple in size. <laughs> oh, no wonder he's huge. Imagine a freaking um, house cat being that big, right? Time to throw some water on Raiden. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, just freaking throw water on Ra uh, Raiden and the Raiden boss. Make her wet. Bro, what? Okay, that was really, um, really out of context there. <laughs> God damn it! Well, can't believe I just said that. Because of course I did. Let's go your school just announced that next week we only have one day of face-to-face -face classes while the rest are online. A good grind for people champs. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, right. There's like a lot of news recently that um, many classes are being like suspended because how freaking hot it is right now in, for the, in the in Philippines. <laughs> you understand? Oh, God. Code uh, is actually gonna do it now. Huh? Oh, no. Alright, if you want to, then go for it, I guess. But yeah, uh, yeah, recently, uh, the freaking, um, it's, it's uh, it was being announced that, uh, schools are, like, uh, being uh, suspended of classes right now and go back to, like, um, uh, online classes because how freaking hot it is. God, the Philippines is literally hell on earth. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be honest, though, it's not, like, a huge problem for me, though, because, um, yeah, even with a freaking hot day, we actually still do classes. 
I mean, that's probably because, like, majority of our classes are always going to be inside of a freaking um, air-conditioned uh, laboratory anyways, because um, I am an IT student, so we always have to be, like, inside of a um, inside of a place where um, computers are involved in a cold place, so... <laughs> yep, so we, I don't really have that problem. Goddamn, 45 degrees Celsius is the average temperature. Yeah, 45 degrees is insanely hot, and it's the average temperature. And I'm pretty sure, like, uh, there's, like, also students are, like, uh, passing out from, like, how, um, how hot it is uh, as well. It's insane, bro. The training here in the goddamn summer season. Oh, okay. Oh, has his also, um, his also own problems, huh? Uh, weather problems, of course. As for his entire body was riddled with scars. He appeared excessively anxious. Ah, it's a size 51 degrees, so oh, jeez. <coughs> God damn it. What's that? Hold up. <coughs> okay. Yeah, that's insanely hot, bro. It's like almost, uh, it's like uh, almost every day we're just living in a sauna, pretty much. Although I think a sauna is like much more higher than that, though, I think. But it's still like really hot. Oh, that's... I need to worry too much. The problem has already been solved. You should have restored the potions to eliminate the alchemical effects of the all upper flower man. We return to normal size. Oh. I actually prefer it to be bigger. I'm glad there aren't any uh, classes of uh, yeah cases of uh, heat stroke. Yeah, yeah, heat strokes are also going is like a huge problem too. Most of Nuvolet couldn't make a ride in mommy wet because uh, Hamari Shogun don't like water, so so she eliminated Nuvolet from existence. Well, rip, rip. This still might appear a bit larger than the average cat. Current size at least should be a uh, pose no more threat. Well, the his life. All that care for our snacks have a uh, he turns watching over him. I think artifacts and character level up uh, matters a lot. Yeah, it matters a lot. Yeah, just take your time grinding. You'll eventually get uh, get your character optimized in no time. Level 20, yeah, level 20. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah. You're going into the freaking uh, Raiden boss fight with a level 20 Nova. What do you expect? You're going to be get wrecked easily. Not the exact same name. Yeah, what a coincidence. Public anxiety and caution around people may be the result of residual trauma from the time of this transformation. Towards the weapons and signals of those officers aren't you. He wasn't around that much to entertain him as well. Aww. Warm up to people like this. <laughs> you have no idea. I literally, I was literally air for it, and all my school, I didn't even have leveled skills since I didn't know they were even there, bro. <laughs> Wait, you were like back then, you were just playing, and you never know like the freaking talent skills exist, bro. <laughs> oh, that's like a huge problem for like um, really like making your DPS better then. <laughs> also, for talents, which to level up first? I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, as Ethan said, uh, his normal uh, slash charge attack is going to be really important. Well, they are our dear cat survivors, after all. The famed bottom right headed Paimon will the cat whisper, bro. His main so yeah, his main source of damage is from his charge attacks. <gasps> I'm surprised you only Li's shield even lasted when I fought Senora and Raiden. Oh. And that's just Zhang Li's shield in a nutshell. Be looking to adopt surpass a lot. Was I think <laughs> you have level one in all your talents? Oh jeez. Well That's one reason to not do a lot of damage.
They didn't take him in, but it was simply out of necessity. They became more stable. Also, what crit uh, damage I'm supposed to get? What do you mean crit damage? Are you talking about like the balance of his crit ratio? I don't know. Um, with Nuvalet, I'm guessing uh, your average um, per good crit ratio. In my case, it's around 60 to 70 crit rate at least, and um, just as high as amount of da crit damage as you can with the crit rate, crit, uh, crit stats that you have available. No, it took me at least half an hour to normal tag the heck out of Senora. Just <laughs> wait, you took an hour to just freaking chip off a way of, uh, out of Senora just to defeat her, bro. That's the that's freaking resilience right there. You're just trying your best to like chip away at the enemy's health until it dies. 20? What do you mean 20? Oh yeah, right, because I forgot. If you are going to be using Mario Chusei Hunter, right? And you probably don't really need a lot of crit, uh, crit rate that much. So if you're going to be using Mario Chusei Hunter on um, Nouvellet... Um, yeah, yeah. How, how much um how much crit rate does uh, Mario Chusei Hunter uh, provides? Is it 20, right? Yeah, yeah, 20 crit rate from, uh, yeah, from Mario Chusei, yeah, Mario Chusei Hunter, so yeah. So, if you're going to be using a uh, Mercury Hunter along uh, with Nouvellet, so the best crit stats you should be able to get, yeah, crit rate maybe around 40 to 50 at least. Yeah, 40 to 50 crit rate is the the best you can get when you're uh, when you're trying to get stats for Nouvellet and if you're using a uh, Mercury Hunter. A crit damage though, um, it, it's all up to you. It all depends on your um on your uh, crit stats on your uh, artifacts. All good points. Yep. Did we do quite the ordeal like, already? For a trigger like that, it's best to keep him away from potential triggers. So that way he can slowly recover in peace. Yep. Serenity pot. Probably no. <laughs> I have not checked, I have, I have not like managed my uh, freaking serenity button so long. There's six more crit uh, rate if you fully stack it. Oh yeah, right, I forgot you can stack it. So yeah. A lot of like uh, a crit, uh, crit rate boost from that. The stack low, I don't know, I forgot. I forgot how the Mario see Hunter's uh, uh, set works. All I know is that there's like an uh, increase of like, um, increase of it, um, I increase of like a crit rate from uh, HP draining, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, it stacks when your character loses HP. Yep. Oh, well, there you go. Also, my both Navia and this old guy works on stacks, basically. Successful adoption, I sue. Oh. Maybe it was not a handkerchief. <laughs> Bruh. ところで、シスターロサリアが動物と交流するのが好きだったとは少し意外だね。確かにな。でも、なんだけど、ロサリアには。Overall, it's not a side of you that comes out very often. Wait, Baishu is the second phase of rerun, right? Yeah, he's the second phase. Yeah, it's pretty early too. Like, uh, I think Baishu appeared during uh, during the Farina banner, I think. The last time he appeared, so this is really early for him to get a rerun, huh? Because I, I'm also like, I expected Sino because he also had the... Um, he also like, uh, made an appearance during, um during um during the trailer as well and of course his uh, second story quest but like out of nowhere he give us freaking baiju out of all characters hmm. they do anything i'm just there dear cat saviors 
栄誉騎士さんと猫猫白魔法使いさんから猫ちゃんと仲良くなるテクニックをいろいろ教えていただきましたが施設の事前準備期間をもうしばらく見深つ見深つサイノジスタンメン How could you forget about our、uh, freak? How could you、uh, forget about our favorite、um, bad jokerist? Does that mean、uh, Baiju is pantalone in disguise? Because all of all the other、uh, five star characters are all related to the Fatui. Like it's the、uh, only explanation. Ha!、Huh, that's a, You actually made a really interesting point. Actually, not speaking of which, I'm just going to h u m p I'm just going to end this poll. Forgot that we can end it、uh, earlier. There you go. Yep, looks like one, there was a possibility. And I thought their tag is going to happen as well. But unfortunately, does he,、uh, yeah, he's not. Yeah, and because of,、uh, yeah, I, only,、uh, I put it there because I expected that、um, Fatui Harbingers have, like,、uh, obviously a connection to、um, Arlecchino. But yeah, and going back to Caddy's,、um, uh, for what Caddy said, right? Does give you an.、Um, does, you, you do get a good, good point there. Uh, because every single banner in this right now is like a、uh, related to like a Fatu Harbinger, and for some reason, like out of nowhere, they put um, they put Baiju in here. Yeah, you really make um, a huge point. So, our um, Hoyovers are like um, hinting something, or just yeah, because for one, right, it's way too early for Baiju to have a rerun this early, so it's kind of weird to have him rerun now. Rescue every strain must die. This e r r a n d hasn't proved to be a troublesome. It's like no more against stress. Because I would be opposed to your suggestion. Hmm. Much about、uh, rescue stress, but this seems to be quite a milestone. Allow me to offer my congratulations. Well, knights run into streets. I'll be sure to tell them to send them your way. Oh, neat. r e b e l Fortress could not have been more success. Cut ribbon together? Oh, yeah, right. Freaking cutting, cutting ribbon ceremony. Alright. Oh, we actually get, our, get the Sir Pounce a lot as a pet now, so we can put in the. Put in the. Um, uh, what's it called? The red teapot. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to check something. Wait, I want to check something real quick. Who's the last character? Is, just, is it just Albedo or someone else? Alright, let's see. Who's in here? No one. Aw, man. I thought someone's going to be in here as a, like, another character. Can we go up here? I mean, you can, but yeah, there's nothing in,、uh, up here at all. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I think that's all of the rewards. Okay. So we're pretty much.、Um, Okay, quest completed, feline favor. Okay, so, yeah, this event quest is pretty much completed now. So, we don't need to worry about that. Alright, let's see what else is like going on. Because I feel, because I feel like there's um, something, um, something else that we、uh, can explore here. Ah,、uh, no, never mind. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of that um, that quest then. Oh, wait. Can I actually um. Yeah, right. Maybe I should try getting um. 
I'm just getting uh getting my um battle pass uh, maxed out now. But wait. Bro, I seriously just ran out now of space. Really. Alright, let's uh, see something else that I can cook then. Uh, steak, I guess? I'll cook. I'll, I'll go ahead and cook some steak. Make 20 of these. Here you go. Oh, almost. All right. Let's just try to complete all of these. For any items, I'll do. I'll just do the um. Oh wait. Um. Uh, I'll do the uh, Fontaine bounties, I guess. Yeah. At this point, I'm just um, just getting rid of like uh, things right now. So I'm just uh, once I get the the battle pass done, I think I'm just gonna end it there. Because uh, right now, there's still uh, not much for me to do in Genshin. I mean, of course, I can do my um, event, my world quest, but I don't really like doing those off stream. <laughs> uh, on stream, I mean. Alright, so let's just do, let's just do bounties instead. We're able to crowd damage. Yeah, I also want to like point out that um yeah next week I'm going to be really busy so I'm not going to be doing um uh, any streaming. So today is possibly going to be my last stream until then. Because next week, right, I'm going to be having my midterms already. So I'm going to be really preparing for that. So don't expect me to be streaming like um that much. Even in these weekends as well, I really want to like enjoy my weekends because um I just want to like take a break, you know. I don't want to um focus too much on um streaming and stuff like that. Alright, the new guy's sign of story quest is named Sethos. Bruh. Wait, did you just literally just um uh, found a lake during that? Bruh. If that's a leak yeah, if you manage to get that from Leak, then yeah, that's um Yeah, you know what? It doesn't really matter now. Or too late anyway, so you already like said it. Hey, get me out of here. Yeah, right. I need to do my um. I should I even do my um. There's three days left. Yeah, I might as well like, do my um. Might as well just do my um. Might as well just do the abyss now. Now that I'm here, anyways. They revealed his name in the oh they uh, they officially revealed it okay never mind then so it's not a leak oh come on okay oh. Gonna finish these off. So I can complete my um Royal Mutal Geo damage. Wait. Oh, it's over here. Let's take this one though. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, right? I um going to be really busy next week. So no streaming until then. If I'm going to be streaming again, then I'm probably going to stream on next week, Friday or Saturday. Check Genshin Tunnel, you wish. What do you mean you wish? This score, what is it? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I would wish this would happen as well, Katyusha. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. But I, but not, but not like that though. Um, I don't want to make her mad. By the looks of things, um, you just made her mad during that. Yeah, I would really want that to happen.
Probably not. I'm just going to use my Farina Burst. Destroyed. I think that would get abused so quick. Like, imagine putting rest. <laughs> yep, I could definitely um, a lot, see a lot of people doing that. And I could uh, even uh, see me uh, also doing that too. <laughs> okay, don't at me. Of course I would do that. You know, you know me. I love you a lot. That should be obvious. Oh, jeez, a freaking, um... Freaking, um, Hydro one. Alright, might as well use my Eula Burst then. And yeah, also, um, I also want to uh, give out that, um, my birthday is actually coming. So, like, in 10 days, I'm going to be doing, uh... Yeah, I don't- yeah, I'm not going to be doing a birthday stream immediately. I'm going to save it. Save the birthday stream on the 24th. So, uh, yeah, I, I did also say that, um... I'm also planning on doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away, um... Uh, Welkins. So... If you want to uh, get some Welkins, then, um... A beat press on my uh, birthday stream because uh, yeah I decided to uh, move my uh, birthday stream on uh, the twenty fourth because uh, that's also going to be the time I'm going to be um pulling for Alakino. So yep, look forward to the twenty fourth, guys. Because I'm also going to be doing um giveaway too. I'll probably do like another like special like special type of mini game that I can do. During that time. Like I think last year when I did the um, birthday stream. Um, birthday uh, stream giveaway. Um, I uh, I challenged like a lot of people to like do a ride and solo run. With like two characters. Well like a uh, ride and duo run. A duo run pretty much. If so if they manage to clear the uh, ride and boss run. Then uh, they get another um. Then they double their chances of um, actually getting the um, Welkin. We're gonna celebrate two birthdays two days later. No, not two days later. Um, ten days later. Because uh, my actual birthday is um, April 22nd. So yeah. Getting old, bro. I'm like uh, turning 22 now. Yep, I'm going to be turning 22 this, um, this upcoming April 22nd. But, my, um, but I'm going to be uh, doing a birthday stream on um on april 24th which is that also which is also the time for the um arlequino banner to come out and ooh, purple what do we get rust i have a lot of rusts available i look at this check my um weapon um weapon the bat weapon stuff again there it is yeah i have so many rusts Never really need to uh, use them. <clears throat> Hello there, Fui Coco. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, well, definitely a wild, uh, shiny Pokemon appeared. Hello, buddy. Alright, so... Um, yeah, right, the Spiral Abyss, right. So I might as well just going to do the Spiral Abyss now. I'm just going to get this. Right, I'm just going to do the Sparla Abyss now. We only have like three days left for this. Catch, throw water, and run, bro. <laughs> Let me talk Hattie is here just to say, you know. <laughs> Cole is just here freaking patting him, bro. Or killing me just like I said. God damn it, you guys. 50% G more Geo damage bonus. Okay, so more Geo damage bonus. I actually really want to try out Noelle. I haven't used her in a while. So I'm pretty sure she has my um Matrusay Hunters, right? But she does not really have yeah. I don't have her uh, the um Geo Damage Goblet equipped. It's on Navia. So I'm just going to be using this, I guess. 
Um, maybe this too. Ah, this would work. Oh, she's. I'm sorry. While I was around with the other free cuckoos, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you of your. I don't want to kill, bro. Sorry, right, they're just freaking joking around. Still pretty messed up, though. Like, what the heck, you guys? Proceed to pull out a level 90 blast toys. <laughs> really? You guys, like, are RPing in the freaking uh, chat right now. You guys, you, you guys, you do what I guess. Just don't, uh, just don't go into freaking trouble. All right, what do we have here? Um. Okay, you know what? Let's just use um. Let's use Noel in the first one. Doesn't really matter whatever uh, what characters I use anyway. So I'm going to be using. Oh wait a minute, Noel. I want to have Farina here because she uh, Noel is using my Chusei Hunter. Uh, Goro, you can be here as well, and Zongli. Because uh, if worse comes to worse, you think Black Cliff Fall would be a drip on Arlequino? Honestly? Yeah, I think Black Cliff Fall can be a really good weapon for Arlequino too. Just because I'll like, um, yes, just from aesthetics alone, I can definitely see it being really good. Also, I think I can eat dittos, huh? That's bad. Dittos are cute. <laughs> no need to eat, bro. Okay, you, uh, you guys do what you guys want to do. If we can RP your uh, Pokemon stuff in the chat, just don't get into too much trouble. Alright, it's going to run. There's a bunch of um, Hydro guys. It's going to run right in National. Doesn't really matter whatever I, who, I, who I use anyway. Wait, um. Let's go. Try frying them. It tastes a little icky. Bro, oi! What the heck, you guys? Pokemon, the only thing I remember is that humans used to marry. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. Crap. Yeah, I definitely know about that. God damn it, you guys. Yep. That is actually a thing. I think it's like a, from a translated. Um, Yeah, from like a translated uh, notes from a Japanese uh, Pokemon game, I think. I think it was one of the Gen 4 games, if I remember correctly. Like Gardevoir, she... And of course, if you um, if you like your waifu Pokemon, then go for it. Oh, back the, that clashes to the Pokemon Joker meme. Out of a few reasons, I'm thinking, oh man, code rip. And also, I remember Markiplier Smasher Pass Pokemon. See, oh yeah, I definitely remember that freaking Smasher Pass Pokemon thing that Markiplier did. Never really need to use my burst there in the first place. Yep, overkill. Oh, then see you guys. Alright, see you in the bit code. <laughs> ah, sorry about what happened. Ow. Jeez, I freaking hate the freeze, bro. Nice. Oh, we just stuck exams. It took me two minutes each to finish them all. Wait, two minutes per exam? What the heck? You just freaking um answered whatever in your uh, test papers and um just call it a day, bro. I'll start doing grade 2 maths. What the heck? Oh, 
Oops. Nice. Auto panel exam, any percent speed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just freaking uh, full Coco here just stop speed running his exams like it's nothing. No, you remember everything, bro. You know, it took like two to five minutes in exam and still passed right. Well, there you go. doing some work. I mean, it's the freaking first floor, so it doesn't really matter that much. Do so you have a uh, review subjects paper ready? Nice. Okay. Alright, what supponents we have? Um, yeah, let's use... Um, yeah, let's just keep using um, Noel in here. We might as well like, um, make, uh, make Noel as a highlight right now. Wait, uh, yeah, for right now. Um, maybe I should change, um, change Goro to uh, someone else. Let's go with, um, go with Sincho for now. I have to run double hydro, and in here I want to also like run Geo Comp. I'm going to put Navia. Um, who else? Um, Zhongling, Bennett, and Zhongli. Let's go. Okay, this might be over, kill. Just freaking killed the poor guy. You know, that was a waste of, um... That was a waste of a freaking, um... No hell burst. Classmates trying to our review and they wanna use mine and also keep in mind we have... Four to five days to ready to reviews. Even if it's holidays, you gotta be prepared. I mean, you always need to prepare for your exam, you know? I mean, yesterday, I was gonna stream yesterday, but, um... I'm just too lazy to do it, so I decided to stream for today. Because uh, yesterday I really don't have like anything to uh, stream. I mean, I could have streamed like Genshin, but um, I decided to like uh, stream Genshin today, to, uh, alongside with the um, alongside with the um, watching the uh, event, the event, uh, the version 4.6 up uh, live uh, live event preview. And then here I am. And uh, in terms of like Monster Hunter, I've pretty much done everything that I need in the um, on my Monster Hunter. So my journey is already ended on my new save. I'm probably just going to be playing more of that account um, off stream. So I'm so I don't really completely abandon it immediately. Yep, yeah. I'm just overkill every time. I'm just wasting my bursts. Um, print character. Okay. 
Come on. I need to burst back, please. Thank you. Oh, come on. I still got, um... It might take me, uh, 10 minutes for one. Because it's, uh, identification and enumeration. Ah, oh, yeah, that's gonna take a while to, uh, solve properly. Snapped them to death. Hot gun. Uh, elemental damage skill. Never needed my um Noel burst during that. You can see six four now just way too strong. Ah. Okay, floor eleven. Okay, things are going to get see more serious now. Evil. Sh the thing is, people think I'm. I'm a. Uh, Academic achiever, yeah, not I spend time time a lot on games, just fast to do stuff so I have more time to play. Okay then. Alright, what do we have here? Alright. Well, I think I'm going to uh take it more seriously this time. So I'm going to be grabbing Can I go for um actually wait. Yeah, let me uh, let me go for my um burst spam team. So let me get Eula in here. All right, then. Also put Mika and and uh, yeah, Diona in here. I'm going to be doing a burst spam team gameplay. In here, I'm going to grab Marina, Kazua. Who else? I need Vaporize, so I'm going to grab Zhang Ling. And maybe Bennett. For the extra um, Pyro Resonance. But I don't think Purina is going to benefit from those though. If you're going to play Pokemon games, I'm pretty sure the other gen are on Switch. Which is also expensive, you need to buy the... I don't even have a Switch. I mean, I could probably like uh, use an emulator, I guess. But uh, right now, like, but right now, I don't have really um any um any time to like buy a switch right now because I'm really trying my best to save up for a PC, you know. And just recently, I had to pay my um my uh, midterm um my midterm fees, so that's like a that's already like another minus to my um savings. So I'm sorry. So don't expect me to play any other games uh, sometime soon. Like Pokemon and stuff like that, and don't even like expect me to buy like a Switch because I'm trying to save up money, okay? What PC? PC, I need it for streaming, you know? I could actually use my money for the, to buy a Switch if I want to. But uh, since I'm also um, a streamer, and it's, uh, it's more beneficial for me to go for, um, for a PC instead. Oh, come on, just freaking kill this guy. Thank you. Ooh, never even need to use my burst in the first place. In here, I might actually. Oh. Oh, 
Come on. Get over here. Okay, I was confused. Why didn't I not get to um switch to Farina? Can you stop? Thank you. Getting one that's just a good mind mid quality because to run good quality horror games, I see. Yeah, I need to uh, get mine um up to um I'm just trying to get one that can run most modern games. In this case, Tekken. I need I need to have I need to buy uh, PC parts that is like enough to get like uh to running Tekken and others uh, uh, and other like uh, modern games that I can uh, probably like buy in the future. I'm trying my best to really save up, but it's really hard because I'm also like paying for my college fees. Maybe I'll stick to Poppy Playtime. Mm, okay then. You do you, bro. Freaking hate these consecrated beasts, bro. Ah, oh, more. Alright, I'm using all my bursts. F that. Stop. Stop it, bro. Nice. Alright, just gotta quickly um, clear the spiral abyss. And then after that, I'm just going to end the game and the stream. Oh yeah, the boss is right. I forgot about that. Can't believe they added the freaking um, at these like water ba bosses. The Eula burst is available now. Oh god, I'm taking a lot of damage. Stop. Alright, I'm using Eula Burst. Oh, that took a lot to take care of all of them. <laughs> nice. Oh, I don't have any burst. Oh crap. Oh crap, I accidentally exited. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of all these real quick. I have floor 11 now, so... Wait. They already cleared it, bro. All I need to do now is just do floor 12 then. Okay. Floor 12 then, I see. Um. Oh yeah, right, I forgot a freaking... Um, yeah, those things. Let's see what we can use here. Ice wind. Okay, so ice is going to be a huge issue there. Um, Jade plume. Should I go for a dendro comp? I haven't used a dendro comp in a while. The pirate in there. I'm trying to. I'm trying to see like um. You know what? Since this is like just bosses, right? With a friggin' PMA, that's going to be an issue, so I can't really, like, one-shot it with my Eula. Hmm. 
Okay. So let's use Furina in here. Uh, we should, yeah, maybe we should one double Pyro. Why not? Um, should I bring a Pyro? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna bring a Pyro, so... Let me grab Noel, you, you, and yeah. And here, I'm going to be running um, Eula. Just bosses, right? So I don't really need to um, issue about that too much. I can put Bennett in here. But I think I'm just going to stick with my um, burst spam team. Just to, uh, just to be more faster of getting my burst back up. Okay. Elemental skill damage, check. HP greater, healing effectiveness. Welcome back, Bush. Uh, right now, I'm just doing the Abyss, so... After this, I am going to be ending stream. Do some homework, also check Discord. In a bit, bro. I'll check it in a bit. I'll check it in a bit after this. I'm not getting um, a lot of them. Um... Ow. Nice. Nah, no, I'm not using Hyper Bloom, bro. I'm using just simple Vaporize team. Alright, what the heck you said on Discord? You can't, can't play it at that game. What is this? Is this Staril? What did you send this for? I don't- you know I don't play Staril, right? I mean, you're just showing like a stats on a character, it looks like. Wait, did you get lucky on like some kind of like uh, crit stats? I don't know. I don't play Staril, okay, so... Yeah, um... I'm sorry if I don't understand, so yeah. Are they good artifacts? I don't know, bro! I don't, as I said, I don't play Star Rail. But uh, but look, but looking at that, yeah, it looks like you uh, you managed to get like some uh, pretty, pretty good artifacts. Kill it already. Woo! We can almost kill my Eula. God damn it, you freaking idiot. There you go. I don't know. I mean, if it is, if, uh, if it looks like good artifacts, then good on you, bro. Congratulations. Um, uh, I'll choose healing effect in this. Oh, why am I attacking when they're pyro?
Okay. Sue? Oh, my Yule's about to die. Oh, no. Yeah, this thing is like really um really just at the physical attacks. Alright, iron burst. Okay, is this one? I'm just gonna use a burst, bro. F that. Wow, that was overkill on that uh, tiny boss. Come on, kill it. Oh, come on. Hurry up. I'm about to run out of time. Thank you. Alright, last chamber. Uh, elemental burst damage. Nice. Okay. Our last one. Oh, is this thing right? Alright, spam. One million, nice, let's go. Come on, spam it. Nice. <laughs> My god, I'm just spamming the heck out of that freaking jump attacks. Let's go. Man, that freaking last part is fun. Is it like a freaking um? Is that freaking hidden boss is like lying and running around in Fontaine that also like has that? Yeah, I forgot what they're called. Like local, yeah, local legends, right? I'm pretty sure the that boss is also like a local legend. I have not fought it like uh, in the um, actual overworld itself. Oops, not this one. Alright, what do we get? Useless. Maybe. Useless. And eh, useless. This attack stance could have gotten could have gave me more a better crit stats than that. Right now I'm right now a really good attack stat is like the only thing that I really need for my Navia. And it's really hard to really try to get my um trying to get like a really good good stats on that attack stance for Navia. Alright. Okay, so I'm about to end it there, but I want to check something real quick with um with my um, Primo Gems. Okay, so I have 40, right? Yeah, 40 um, intertwined fates. Right, let me go to the crap. Wait, um, give me a sec. I'll grab something real quick. Okay. 
So right now I have 40, 40 intertwined baits, right? So if I have 33,801, uh, 33, Remo gem saved up. If I divide at 160, I have 211. Okay, um, wait a minute. So I have so I have 211 from um from me um from the primo gems right and um just in case as well I do have 6,200 on uh, on Genesis crystals just as as an emergency if I do run out 1,200 divided by 160 that's um 38 plus 40. Plus 211. That would mean I have a total of 289 wishes. So I should be able to get to 300 wishes when the uh, Arlecchino banner comes around, hopefully. So, yep, I have a lot of wishes saved up then, but I also need to, um, but I should be able to also get like a bunch of wishes from, from when I uh, also wish from the, um, from the, uh, yeah. When I uh, whenever I get star litter, right? That's also like a, another bonus, a bunch of like wishes. And also, yeah, I've, I can also get like two star glitters right now. Right. Also, so now I have a total of two hundred and ninety-one wishes. Okay. So, yep. This should be enough for me to get to um. Wait, uh, is it the pity for um? Yeah. Hold up. Let me check. Soft pity. I'm just going to put this as seventy times sixty. Wait a minute. Um, uh, seventy times three, two hundred ten, is like the the minimum I need for for be able to get to um, get the guaranteed the uh, weapon. At least so yeah, two hundred and ten is the minimum that I need to um, or yeah, two hundred ten wishes is the minimum I need to get uh to get uh, every single one of the um. Yeah, get to get to guarantee the pity on the um button that if I do lose the 50-50 that is or 70 75 25. It's still pretty rare though, so yeah. But I also said this earlier as well that um I need to um hopefully I get it earlier because I need the extra primos for um getting um getting um getting uh getting constellations for Alakino, so yeah. But we are guaranteed though, so we should be able to get at least one copy of Arlecchino. But it would be great if I might do manage to get um manage to get um the weapon early and get more constellations for Alakino, so yeah. Oh okay, so I'm going to be ending it there for today. So uh yep. So yeah, I managed to complete the um managed to complete the uh the cat event. So that's already like uh, done and out of the way. Already did uh, did the abyss as well, so that's also out of the way right before it's about to um about to reset. Yeah, and of course, um, super hyped up for the upcoming Arlecchino banner and story quest as well. Her story and uh, Sino's uh, second story quest as well. So I'm going to be um hyped up for those. Wind Trace event as well is going to be coming back, so I'm going to be having fun with it with the viewers. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today uh next stream i'm not um uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to be streaming this weekend because i really want to just uh relax and just um yeah just relax uh, for this weekend and prepare for the upcoming um upcoming uh, midterms exams that i'm going to be having next week so i'm um, so don't expect me to the stream next week so expect me to stream maybe uh, next week friday or in the weekend so that's going to be it in terms of announcements i think so thank you guys so much for watching so hopefully all of you guys are hyped up for the um for the upcoming uh version 4.6 and uh may your um hopefully your guys' pulls go uh go really well and this is kunzu i'll be seeing you guys next time take care everyone have a good weekend it is a friday hope you guys have a good weekend yourselves good luck take care have fun whatever and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye. I'll see you guys later. Peace.